Multiple automation triggers allow you to kickstart a workflow by more than one event. For example, when a subscriber joins a group or when a subscriber clicks a link. You can add up to three triggers per automation, which allows you to set up multiple entry paths to a single workflow. Before I show you how to do this, a quick note, this feature currently only applies to MailerLite's regular email automation triggers. There's no option to apply multiple e-commerce triggers at this time. Also, you will need to be on MailerLite's advanced plan to use this feature. All right, let's quickly create a new automation, navigate to the automation page and click new automation, then give it a name. Now I'm going to set up my first trigger in the dropdown and for the purpose of this video, I'm going to choose when a subscriber joins a group and then I'll choose which group. Now I'll add another trigger by clicking the plus sign when a subscriber completes a form and then I'll choose which form. Lastly, I'll set up another trigger, my last trigger, when a subscriber clicks on a link. Now, this must be an active link in your campaign, so make sure to copy it exactly the way it appears and don't forget the HTTP or HTTPS at the beginning of the address. The multi-trigger feature is limited to three triggers, so I will quickly now build an automation workflow. If you don't know how or don't remember how to build an automation workflow, you can look up our automation lesson. The link can be found in the description section of this video. To add additional triggers to an existing workflow, navigate to the automation page, find the workflow you wish to enhance and click edit. Now pause your workflow for editing by toggling your automation off, click the trigger step to select it. In the sidebar, click the plus sign, add another trigger to set up additional triggers. Click save, easy. Make sure to check the activity section of your workflow after you add new triggers as changing any automation trigger can cause some subscribers to be removed from the workflow. Now you're probably asking yourself, how does it all work? Great question. Basically, multiple triggers provide three separate ways to enter a workflow. When a subscriber triggers a workflow containing multiple triggers, they must only meet the rules of at least one trigger. For example, let's say that your workflow has three triggers. When a subscriber joins a group, anniversary of a date, and updated field. In this case, a subscriber would only need to meet one of these conditions to enter the workflow. Basically, the triggers don't work with each other. They simply provide three separate ways to enter a workflow. To exclude a group completely from entering the workflow, you'll need to prevent subscribers from activating each one of the triggers. Remember that when a subscriber joins a group, anniversary of a date and exact match of a date are the only triggers that allow you to exclude groups. The rest of the triggers won't. Some triggers have the option to allow subscribers enter the workflow multiple times whenever they meet the conditions. These triggers are when a subscriber joins a group, when a subscriber completes a form, and when a subscriber clicks on a link. To do that, check this box right here. Some triggers repeat automatically. The anniversary of a date will activate once a year. The exact match of a date will only activate once and will not be repeated. An updated field will be triggered every time there's a field revision in your system. Please note that the workflows can only be reactivated once every 24 hours. Even if a subscriber meets the rules of a different trigger within 24 hours, they will not rejoin the workflow until the 24 hours have passed. Thanks for watching. Make sure to click the bell button below so you don't miss any new tutorials. You can also find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and subscribe to our newsletter. The link is in the description section below. Have an awesome day or night, and I'll see you in the next video.